in this example, we can we are going to find the local max local mean using the second derivative test. First of all, we're gonna find the first derivative and then the second derivative. You see the second term as 18 over x, which is the same as 18 times x to the negative first. When we find the first derivative, we just use the power rule. So 2 minus 18 x to the negative second as the first derivative. Or you can write it as 2 minus 18 over x squared. And after that, we use the first derivative to find the second derivative. So we get 0 minus 18 times negative 2 times x to the negative third, or 36 times x to the negative third, which is 36 over x to the third. We're going to use the critical value from looking at the f prime equals 0 or f prime undefined. So f prime, which is 2 minus 18 over x squared, and we can rewrite it as 2 times x squared minus 18 over x squared. By the critical value, is from two cases. The case that the numerator equals zero or denominator equals zero. The numerator equals zero will give you the case that the f prime x equals zero and the denominator equals zero going to be the case that the f prime undefined. So the numerator equals zero, so two x squared minus eighteen equals zero, or two times x squared minus nine equals zero. Factor more to be x minus three, x plus three. This way we can see two critical numbers, x equals three and x equals negative three. Where the f prime undefined, the case that denominator equals zero or x squared equals zero, give you x equals zero x equals zero is not in the domain, so we just ignore this value. How do you know that x equals zero is not in the domain? It's from the original function that the denominator x here make x cannot be zero. Otherwise, the function is undefined. So far, we have two critical values. If you use the second derivative test, we're gonna test the value at the critical point for the second derivative. So let's say if x equals 3, f double prime at 3 equals 36 over the quantity 3 to the third is positive quantity. Positive quantity, I'm happy. So this point is going to give me the local minimum. And at x equals negative 3, f double prime at negative 3 equals 36 over negative 3 to the third power. The sign turns out to be negative inside or upside down. That means this point, negative 3, going to give us the local maximum value. To find the value, we just plug it in, the function f at 3 and local max if at negative 3, so let's plug in the function. The function is 2x or 2 times 3 my, uh, plus 18 over x, which is 3, and then simplify to be 6 plus 6 or 12. The order pair is going to be 3 comma 12 as a local minimum. And the other point, if at negative 3, so 2 times negative 3, plus 18 over negative 3. Make sure that we follow the function form. So we get negative 6 minus 6 or negative 12. Therefore, the local maximum point is the point negative 3 comma negative 12. In the case that we use the first derivative test, different color.
from the critical value x equals 3, x equals negative 3, just use the line for the f prime at x, and the form that we get it is 2x squared minus 18 over x squared, allocate the coordinate negative 3 and 3 for the critical values. This one, when you factor completely, x minus 3, x plus 3 multiplied by 2, all divided by x squared, and determine the side on the right side of 3, which is going to give you positive inside here, and then between negative 3 and 3, for example, make sure that we break it up at 0, because 0 is undefined for the value 1, this is positive, or oh, this is negative, sorry. And then between negative 3 and 0, like negative 1, we're going to have also negative inside. And then less than negative 3, for example, negative 5, we're going to get the value here as positive. So we have the graph increasing and then decreasing, and then decreasing again, and then increasing. So we have the local. At negative 3, a local min at positive 3, the same as we, we did with the second derivative test. 